Welcome to another discussion on the basics of AutoCAD. This time, we will continue our first activity regarding the uh, exercises online. And for today, we will convert our drawing into a PDF format. So first off, as you can see, below your drawing area, so this is your drawing area, you have this black background with, and, has, and the grids. So this is the drawing area or the model. And then on its side, you have your layout 1 and layout 2. So if you click layout 1, you have here a white portion. So this represents a piece of paper. And then on this one, if you click this one, you have this object. This is what we call a viewport. No? So as you can see, it gives a preview of what is inside the model. So it basically is just like a window. So you can see or you can sneak, uh, see a sneak peek of what is inside. So again, if you click the model, you have this drawing area and the layout now represents the paper wherein you will going to place your drawings. So first off, you will delete this one, this default viewport. So erase this one. And then the next thing is that before placing the drawings here, what we will do first is to prepare our paper. So we will make sure that the paper here is in its correct size and orientation. So to prepare our paper, uh, go to your layout and then right click and then select this edit page setup. So if you click this one, you have here the properties of this layout number one. The setup so we need to set up this paper so that this is already prepared when we place our drawings so the first thing to change here is this one printer so if you click this one you have your different options so it shows you the printers that is already connected to your units or the different file types that you are going to convert to so for this one, let's use DWG to PDF. So click this one. So it means that DWG here represents the AutoCAD file and you wish to convert this one into a PDF file. Okay. The next one is the paper size. So you can select the size of the paper depending on which size you are going to use. So for this one, let's just select this 8.5 by 11 inches. So meaning this is a short size band paper and on its side you have here two options so on the left side you have here the portrait orientation the other one is the landscape orientation so we will select this landscape orientation and then next is just disregard this one the layout just disregard this one and then let's go to the scale so the default the default is inches so that is scale one is to one but our units is not in inches but instead in meters so we will make sure that the uh, the paper and the drawing area must be proportioned okay so we will change this inches so if you click this one and then the closest to meters is millimeters so click this one so again as you can see one millimeter is equal to 0 0.0397 that is incorrect okay because units here represents the units that we are using in the drawing area and remember the units that we are using is in meters so we will change this one so that it will be proportion so now one millimeter is equal to 0 0.001 meters so this is now equal the scale of the paper and the units of the drawing area is already scaled and then the next thing is this flat style. If you click this one, we will now select this monochrome because the default is print as displayed. Meaning whatever is being drawn in the drawing area will be the same when it is converted into a PDF file. And remember, we are using a lot of colors when we draw. So what we will do is select the monochrome option so click this one and go to monochrome meaning black and white so whatever color 
that you use during your uh, in your drawing area when it, when it is converted to a PDF format you know, it will just give you a black and white uh, file okay which is the monochrome so again so the checklist the checklist will be number one the printer it must be DWG to PDF so AutoCAD file to PDF the next one is the size of the paper so you can use 8.5 by 11 inches and then the orientation that's number three number four will be the scale so one millimeter is equal to 0 0.001 units or meters so you have one two three four and the fifth and the last one is the plat style so it must be in monochrome and then this one print with plat style must be checked Okay, so all in all, you have one, two, three, four, five. Five things to uh, prepare. And then click OK. So now our drawing, our paper is already set. So what we will do now is we will make, uh, we will show our drawings in the paper. So again, we will now use the viewport. So we will be making a window showing what is inside. So that is the role of the viewport. Okay, so what you will do is type MV. MV, that is for MView or the viewport. MV, enter. So it will, as you look into the status bar, it will ask you for the corner of the viewport. So specify corner of viewport so it is just like making a rectangle so click a first corner so let's uh, place it here and then the next corner the opposite one is here so as you can see you know a window is created showing a preview of the model or the drawing area but as you can see you no know, the, uh, the drawing is too small Okay, so how do we edit this one? So, in the layout, you have here two different uh, spaces. So, right now, we are on the paper space. So, when you try to zoom in and zoom out, you know, what is being adjusted is the view of the paper because we are still on the paper space. So, if you want to edit, the view or the size of the drawing what you will do is you will adjust it on the inside of this viewport so to do it double click any space inside the boundary of this viewport so if you click the viewport you now you have here this one is the boundary of the viewport so if you double click inside its boundaries you no know, double left click as you can see, the boundaries of the viewport or the window is being highlighted. So when you zoom in and zoom out, what will be adjusted is the camera inside the viewport. Unlike earlier, you know, what is being adjusted is the view of the paper. This time, you are inside the viewport. As you can see, you know, one way to find out if you are in the view, uh, inside the viewport is the boundaries of the viewport is being highlighted so again let's adjust let's try to adjust our drawing so this one okay it's much bigger than the previous one and then now if you are already satisfied or set with the size of your drawing you no know, what you will do is you will you go back to the paper space or you will get out of the viewport so that it will stay as is so to go back to the paper space you have you will have two options so the first option is typing paper space or the shortcut for paper space is PS enter so when I type the PS command or the paper space command the boundaries of the viewport is not highlighted so when I will zoom out and zoom in no what is being adjusted is 
the paper area. No? Inside the viewport is not adjusted. So again, zoom in and zoom out. Now, as you can see, the drawings are not adjusted because we are outside the viewport. Okay, so that is one way of going back to the paper space. The other way is by clicking, by double clicking the outside of the boundaries of the viewport. So again, right now we are inside the boundaries of the viewport. So when I zoom in and zoom out, the drawings are adjusted. So now I'm already satisfied with the size of the drawing. What I will do now is go back to the paper space. So you can do it this way. Move your cursor outside the boundaries of the viewport and double click. Double click any area outside the viewport. So let's place it here. This is outside the viewport. Double click. As you can see, the highlight of the viewport is gone. So when I try to zoom out and zoom in, you know, the drawing stays as is. Okay, now, to convert this one into a PDF file, again, the first thing we did was to prepare the, prepare the paper. Now, we will proceed with converting this one into a PDF file. So, what you will do is to type plot. Okay, we call this one plotting. Now, converting a AutoCAD file into a different file. So, one example is, through, uh, to convert it into PDF. So again, type plot, enter. Now, if you observe, it will give you the same options as to what we did earlier when we prepared our paper. The good thing about preparing the paper first is that you don't have to change it here. You don't have to add it again. So let's try to check. You know, let's try to check the five uh, things that we should make sure if this is correct. So the first one is the printer. No, So the printer is DWG to PDF. So this is correct. The paper size, no, this is correct. And also the orientation. The next one is the scale. So you have here 1 mm is equal to 0 0.001 units. So that is correct. And then the plot style you have here, monochrome. So you don't have to change anything here because we already prepared this one previously. Okay? But before plotting this one, you have your plot. Let's try to check first if our drawing is already uh, correct. So let's try to see the preview. So click this preview so you will know how would it look like when it will be converted into a PDF file. So click this preview. So as you can see, you know, it will give you an insight as to what would it look like when it will become a PDF file. So now, as you can see, the hidden lines are not being shown. So that's a good thing about checking it first before converting it directly. So, what I will do is, I will close this one, and then cancel, and then I will go back to my drawing. So, if you look at the model, the hidden lines are being shown. But if you look at the layout, or the paper space, the hidden lines are gone. So, what you will do now is to type PSLT scale. Enter. So, PSLT scale means, PS is for the paper space. LT scale now is for the scale of the line types, meaning the scale of these hidden lines. So, again, PSLT scale, enter, and then you have here, enter new value for PSLT scale. So, the default one the default value is 1. No? We have to change this one into 0. 0 here represents that whatever is the line type being shown in the model, the layout or the paper will follow. 
So, the two of them will be parallel. Okay, so again, PSLT scale, enter. Make sure the value of this PSLT scale is 0, enter. And then, let's try to check by plotting it again. So, plot, enter. And then, this is already correct, the setup. And then, check it first, preview. So, now, as you can see, the hidden lines are being shown. Aside from the hidden lines or the line type, you can also see the line weights that we created. So you have here hidden lines. No? You can see to it that it is thinner than this line. This is the point three line that we created. And then the borders, the square is placed on the point five layer. So you can see the hierarchy of lines. So the point three lines is thinner compared to the border, which is the point five. So this is already set. This is already correct. So close this one and then click the save as PDF. Or you can click the plot. So click this one, save as PDF, and then we will save this one as activity number one. Save. And then we will try to locate our file so as you can see this file that we save is already in PDF format so let's try to open this one so here now it's the same as the preview no so preview is very important to double check first before converting your file into a PDF file okay so what you need what we will be submitting will be a PDF file okay so make sure that you follow the process and the th things that you need to check so that when converting into a PDF file so there will be no errors okay so thank you